Hello there people of the internet, I'm the Gaming Lemon, welcome to a Q&A video I'm doing today. No special milestone for it, I just felt like doing a Q&A and since you guys are waiting quite a bit for the new Lemon Mad video, and that will come soon, I promise you, I figured I should make, you know, a video or two just uh, so you guys don't have to wait another a week without a video. So I decided to do a QA. and I think the last time I did one was back when I had 400k subscribers and I've doubled in size since then, which is absolutely incredible. So uh, as a disclaimer, there might be a few repeated questions from that one simply because most people wouldn't have actually heard those questions and some of them are quite important. But before I start, I want to tell you guys about a video that I actually provided voiceover for that has been uploaded on Zombie Go Boom TV. I specifically voiced over a, uh, a weapon that they will be using to destroy created zombie heads called the Sledge Shore from the game Dead Rising 3, which actually releases today, Dead Rising 3, November 22nd, and the weapon that they are using, the Sledge Shore, is a uh, combined weapon that you can use in Dead Rising 3, so be sure to go check it out, click the annotation at the bottom of the video and it will take you right there. It's pretty cool, I've never actually done a voiceover for a video before, so it was quite a cool experience, so I'd appreciate it if you guys were to check it out. And speaking of Dead Rising 3, uh, I asked in my previous video uh, what fun touch I should make first on a next-gen game, whether it be, say, Forza 5, Rise on a Rome, Need for Speed, or uh, Dead Rising 3. And of course, the majority of you are for Dead Rising 3, which is kind of what I expected. It looks like a really fun game. So the first fun touch I'm going to do on a next-gen game is going to be Dead Rising 3, then maybe Rise or Forza 5. Or maybe even Need for Speed, I haven't actually decided yet. But the first one will be Dead Rising 3. I'm going to start working on that soon and it'll be uh, working parallel to uh, Lemon Man. So I'm going to be working on Lemon Man and Dead Rising 3 at the same time. So you guys don't have to wait ages for the Lemon Man video. And since you guys have been such good boys and girls, I'm going to play a second preview on Lemon Man right now. It doesn't look too bad, doesn't it? Right, let's get into the first question of this q and I think there's about 25, so there's quite a lot. Again, some questions are repeated, some common questions, because they're simple because not everyone has uh, viewed all my q and A. so I thought it would be useful to answer those questions first. And sorry if this sounds sort of rushed, I mean, there are like 25 questions, so I'm going to try and get the questions down as quickly as possible so I can fit them all in. Malo asks, what is all the equipment you use? I assume that's mean for uh, recording, for YouTube, video recording, for recording console, I use an Elgato game capture, I highly recommend that. I've had no problems with it so far and I think I've had it for about a year now. No problems, amazing quality and I do highly recommend it, it's very easy to use. Recording for PC, I use DX Tori, not Fraps, because uh, Fraps kind of lowers performance whilst you're recording, but DX Tori doesn't. And for audio, I use a Blue Yeti microphone to record, I'm not too sure how much that is actually in the moment. It keeps varying in price, I think last time I checked it was about 100 quid. I'm not too sure what that is in dollars, about $180. I haven't really got a clue on that one, but the audio is perfect, it's a fantastic microphone. No need for anything else in my opinion. And uh, for recording now, I use Audacity. Free program that you can just record your voice and your microphone and export it as a file. And to edit, I use Sony Vegas Pro 12. Been using that since I started and also Adobe Photoshop CS6. Bring me to Pupacass asks, how old are you? I am 17. I turned 17 in October. Uh, October 29th is my actual birthday for those who are wondering. Zorkes Alec asks, what's with all the weird names that I can't pronounce? For your fun touches, how do you make such amazing moments like WTF? Do you plan them out or did they just randomly happen? Well, what I do with fun touches is I pick any game that I want to make a fun touch on and I record an hour's worth of gameplay and then cut it down into normally about 20 minutes of the best moments and make it funny and stuff. I don't necessarily plan fun touches, but I kind of outline what I want to do in it or some things that I want to note down that I want to do within a video in case I forget, for example, Say in the Assassin's Creed 4 one, I really want to go, for example, and say hunt an animal. I'd note it down and just say hunt this animal at some point in the video. And sometimes in some fun targets, I make sure that within one section of the video I do this, within the next section I do that, and within the last section I do that. But it's not all scripted and planned. No, no fun targets are planned except for like um, the, uh, the Iron Man vs. Hulk video. You know, storyline story based uh, videos are actually our plan. It's the same with the Lemon Man video, which is uh, why it's taking quite a lot of work, because I've never planned as much as a video for this one. Matt HG Gamer, FIFA YouTuber, you guys may know him, asks, If the lemon became extinct, what fruit would be your preference? Apples! I like apples. TNDPT Anster asks, um, what's up with all these random names? He asks, what do you think will be your favourite game on the next-gen consoles? In terms of day one uh, launch titles, I think, uh, my favourite launch title will probably be uh, Dead Rising 3 for Xbox uh, for Xbox One. That game looks amazing. It looks hilarious. I can't wait to make a video on it. Really excited for that. 
But in terms of future games, future games that aren't out yet would have to be Watch Dogs. Unfortunately, it got delayed. It was supposed to be out. I think it, I'm not sure if it was supposed to be out on release uh, day, but it got delayed to next year. I think it was March or April or May even. And also Star Wars Battlefront. I know we know nothing about that yet, but I have been waiting for that game for 10 years. A reboot of it or a third one. And finally, after 10 years, they're making one. And the best part about it is that DICE are actually making it, so you know it's going to be amazing. Sam Platt asks, do you plan to do any more Far Cry 3 in the future? If you guys remember my previous video I did in Far Cry 3, which is the map editor funtage, I asked if you guys would like to see another video, and that got loads and loads of uh, good responses, telling me that I should do another video on it. And because of the good responses, I will do another video on that. It's going to be uh, the same map, it's going to have the same characters and all that good jazz. It's going to continue right where we left off, and it's going to be where I expand it into a little village or town. Look forward to that. And I also use this question to uh, say that I will be uh, doing videos again on current gen games. You know, once the Xbox One comes out, I'm not going to be solely only doing next gen games from now on. I might go back and do uh, second fontages actually, like sequels to the uh, some of the f uh, best ones in terms of views and likes and all that stuff. So post in the comment what second fontage you'd like me to do, like a Red Dead Redemption fontage 2 or anything like that. Leave your suggestions in the comment section below. A uh, personal creeper asks, what do you think about doing YouTube as a full-time job? Do you think it would be a long-lasting job and why? If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, recently I was talking about the topic as if I'll uh, continue YouTube and do it as a full-time job after college. I mean, I would do it no questions asked because this is uh, absolutely incredible, the fact that I can actually do this as a job. But the fact is, that if I were to do that, there was constantly the pressure and a worry that it, it, you know, it will continue because, of course, you have to rely that YouTube will last that long. And there's loads and loads of views and different opinions on how long YouTube will actually last. Some people think it will last for 10 years, some people think it will last more than that, and some people think it won't even last for more than 2 years. Some people think that something bigger will come along, or some people think that YouTube will just fail completely. We just don't know, we just can't tell the future. And although that probably won't happen, you can't really picture a massive corporation like Google and their YouTube company to actually fail, but it's just a thought that it actually could happen and that your job relies on it, so doing YouTube as a full-time thing is risky. But then again, life is kind of about taking risks and, you know, the part of a becoming an adult is to, uh, is to take risks and that is probably a risk I'm willing to take so after college I probably will do this as a full-time thing even if it only lasts for a few years it'll be a great experience so probably will. Frank Limpard asks will as ever see the Lemonators again? Probably but not straight away. What I did with last Lemonators I did it in the summer holidays. I, pr I probably won't do it now I'll probably do it later down the line when I, I've got nothing else to upload. When I, when I actually feel like I want to make it, because I, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't want to make it at the moment, but when I, when I fully decide that I really want to start the series again, I will start it, I will start it again sometime later down the year maybe, just, uh, just not right now, but I, you will see a FIFA 14 Eliminators. Luke Lewis asks, will we ever return to GTA 4 to record one more video just to see James? and all the other characters. I get this question quite a lot, not just for the q and A. I I think I said once on Twitter that I would go back for one for the one-off video if there was an uber amazing incredible mod that I had to make a video on, like, like a Godzilla mod, or a King Kong mod, or a T-Rex mod, something like that. Then yeah, I would go back and make a video on it. Even if there isn't, I might just go back and do the one-off video where, uh, I don't know, Michael travels to Liberty City. And then we can visit all the characters and stuff. I don't know. May maybe maybe one time in the future. We'll see. I Chloe asks, what is your favourite game of all time and why? It's going to have to be Call of Duty 4 as my uh, favourite game of all time. I'm not too sure why that is. I think it's because that was my first ever game I ever played on an Xbox 360. I always played on a PS2 like it was my religion. And then when I went to my friend's house, I'd never heard of Call of Duty 4 or anything like that. I had my first go on Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty 4 with my friend. And I've never had so much fun on it before because I've never played a multiplayer game before until that point. And in my opinion, the best multiplayer game I've ever played and the first multiplayer game I've ever played combined must make it the best game I've ever played. I managed to get to the 10th Prestige three times. I played that game like it was my religion. And I still go back and play it now because it's uh, the best Call of Duty in my opinion. When someone else says, like, oh no, this Call of Duty is the best. I'm like, no, you're wrong. COD 4. Is the best Call of Duty, no questions asked. Then Modern Warfare 2, and then the rest of bullshit. 
Florida Crafter asks, why do you call yourself the Gaming Lemon? I actually made a separate video on this because it was a really common question back in the day. But that was back when I had like two thousand subscribers. I think you can even go find it now if you want. But basically my last name is uh, very, very close to Lemon. It's not actually Lemon, I just say it is Lemon so I don't get hundreds of requests on Facebook and stuff. But because it is so close to Lemon, people who had never met me before would always pronounce it wrong and say it was Lemon. And at some points in primary school and secondary school I'd get the nickname Lemon. Like teachers might pronounce it wrong, orthodontists might pronounce it wrong. And I just thought as that was uh, the nickname, I'd include it somewhere in the channel name. I don't, I don't actually remember where you got the gaming bit from. Fruity Mate asks, how do you get popular on YouTube? Magic. Holy shit asks, are you potato? I am not a potato. What's the story behind James saying go F yourself by Vlog T Nathan? When I first met Joel as a character, I was actually looking for a voice for Joel. There was actually going to be a voice for Joel instead of James. And I was looking for an angry Mexican voice. I, t I typed in angry Mexican voice on YouTube or something like that. I was looking for an angry Mexican voice to put with Joel, something that you don't understand. And then I came across a video that said angry voice messages. I can put a link to it in the description if you guys want. And that angry voice messages was just random hate from a guy. And all of those voice messages contained the quotes uh, that you guys um, hear from the voice of James. And I found those were really funny. And I thought that would fit well with the internet cafe guy. Because he kind of looked a bit like a loser. And that guy sounded a bit like a loser. For, so, so I thought they fitted. And I put them together. And that was how James was born. Cookie7200 asks, can you do more Assassin's Creed 4 videos there? Beast! Uh, I'm going to be doing a second fun charge on Assassin's Creed 4 on the next gen, so you guys can, I don't know, see, see, the, see the next gen, I guess. I'm going to be doing stuff that I didn't actually manage to do in the in the, uh, in the the first fun charge, like hunting, maybe do an assassin contract, go treasure hunting, and sailing more of the seas that I didn't actually explore. And also, I was thinking of actually doing a Far Cry, not Far Cry, uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Hunting Expert, which uh, I did a series on Far Cry 3 of that, which was my favourite series I uploaded on the channel, which was hunting down and killing every skinnable animal within the game. Because the same hunting aspect and the same uh, hunting system is within Assassin's Creed 4, because Fa Far Cry 3 and Assassin's Creed 4 are made by the same company, Ubisoft. So I may be doing that, I'm just waiting for the wiki to sort itself out. Out. By that I mean I'm sure that all the animals are listed there and that I can start preparing the list and I can actually make a series on it. Let me know in the comments if you guys actually want to see that Far Cry, um, not Far Cry, Assassin's Creed 4 Hunting Expert series. Uh, Far Cry 4 has been confirmed by Ubisoft by the way, so I will definitely, definitely be doing a um, Hunting Expert series on that, assuming that hunting is still going to be in the game when it comes out. What is the best game that you have played this year or looking forward to playing? says Josh Hodkinson11, sorry if I said that wrong. This year, GTA 5 and The Last of Us, no questions asked. I can't say which one is better, because they're both completely different games. I mean, Assassin's Creed 4 was great, and so was Bioshock Infinite, but I, I still think The Last of Us and GTA 5 were the best games of this year, without a doubt. Well, we're, uh, well, we're still waiting to see um the next gen games. I mean, you guys might have seen them, but I haven't actually played them yet. I've heard some great talks about Falls of Five and Need for Speed. I've heard that Dead Rising Three is pretty good, but I've heard that Rise Son of Rome is actually a massive disappointment. But I'm still going to make a video on it, nevertheless. And I already said what games I'm actually looking forward to playing in a previous question. So thank you for your question, Jonas. Nathan asks any good advice on how to be a successful YouTuber. I get this question like in every uh, Q and A, and I always say the same stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of a uh, condense it a bit because I always go over the top on this question. Through my personal opinion and through my experience uh, for doing two and a half years of uh, this YouTube channel, I have three major points that you need to follow. In, in my personal opinion, in order to be a successful YouTube channel. The first is be original, that's in my opinion. I say that because I've heard from a lot of YouTubers that I don't include that point. But through my experience, being original and having your own content and f having the content that people will only find in your channel grows a lot of success. Because anything else that's not original, it's more than likely that there are bigger YouTubers that already do that and may do it better than you. And even if not, they have a larger audience so that they'll only go to the big YouTubers. Be original. I know that can be really hard to be original these days on YouTube because pretty much everything someone has done. And if that's the case, just don't do something that's too mainstream. Like, don't do, like, Call of Duty commentaries. I mean, I guess you could do Let's Plays and stuff, but... 
try and spice it up a bit. I don't know, just make yourself stand out from the crowd, you know. That's how I find um you grow a successful channel. The second tip is to be consistent. I know it's a little bit hypocritical for me at the moment because that my channel's a bit all over the place from this uh, quality stuff, but from the summer I was being consistent. I was pretty much uploading every day because I had no actually college work to do, and that actually turned out really well for my channel. And my third and final point is simply just to enjoy what you're doing. Find something that you're comfortable with. Find something that you will enjoy making and that you know you will love making it daily. I've, I've said many times that if I don't enjoy what I'm doing, anything at all, I just don't do it because it feels like a fake video because I'm fe feeling obliged to do it. That's why I kind of stopped making Minecraft back in the day because I didn't enjoy it anymore. I personally found it boring to make videos on it and I wanted to do something else. So I stopped doing it but what do you know it turned out for the better I guess. And that's the same with anything else. If I decide that I don't like doing it then I just stop doing it. That's it. So the three main points is be original, be consistent and simply enjoy it. Find something that you're comfortable with. Graham86 asks, what was your favourite GTA 5 mission? No spoilers in this, but there might be a few gameplay spoilers. Uh, the best mission for me would have to be the um, one of the highest, I can't remember what, what one it was. But it's one where you had those massive juggernaut suits with mini guns. That mission was absolutely incredible. I love that mission. Just tearing down all the police cars and all the police with those mini guns was one of the most satisfying feelings in the game. So action packed. Such a great game. Every mission was amazing in that game. Uh, Zach asks, what football team do you support in the Premier League? I support Fulham simply because my dad supported Fulham and that's how I was brought up in the family. And the final question for today, Incredibad123 asks, are you going to install mods for GTA 5 for when it comes out in the PC, I assume? Assuming there will be a PC release of GTA 5, yes, I will make mod videos on it just like I did in GTA 4. The first thing I'm going to do is contact a few mod uh, mod creators to see if they can actually transfer the skin from James in GTA 4 over to GTA 5 perhaps to replace the uh, the Asian person at the uh, at the corner store because as you guys know there's no actually uh, twat internet cafes in GTA 5 which is quite a shame and also transferring a Joel skin in there somehow as well so therefore we'll have James and Joel back in GTA fun times anyways that is all I have for today I want to thank you guys for asking me all these questions if you guys would like to participate and ask questions in the next Q&A, please do follow me on Twitter. So be sure to follow me on Twitter if you guys don't want to miss your chance of being in a video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you guys for the support as well. Dead Rising 3, Fun Taj and Lemon Man are on the way. Lemon Man will be done soon. I promise you guys that you guys are going to love it. And hopefully it will make up for the, um, for the lack of uploads over the past week or so. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you and goodbye.